If there's one thing I absolutely love about camera gear, it's versatility. This is the Cire P424FL monopod. I've actually dubbed it the Saturn V rocket of monopods. Find out why next. The Saturn V rocket was notorious for taking astronauts to the moon and back. Each of its different stages served a purpose in accomplishing a successful mission. This Cire P424FL monopod has a seriously clever modular design, which allows you to break it down into different stages for different types of photography and videography. I'll be getting out and showing you this monopod out in the field in action in just a minute. But first, what I wanted to do is take you through the different parts and functions and stages of this monopod here in the studio because it is much easier. The Cire P424FL is primarily made of carbon fiber, which means it's super strong while keeping weight down. It weighs just 1.25 kilo, and when fully extended, it maxes out at a whopping 1.9 meters. The max payload you can have on this monopod is 12 kilograms. The monopod comes with its own carry bag with shoulder strap, along with some Allen keys and warranty card. Starting at the bottom of the P424FL, you have a tripod section, AKA the stage one rocket section. When not in use, the tripod legs fold up and out the way. The legs can be adjusted to different height positions when they're down. You can use this lower section as a tabletop tripod. Simply jettison the second stage of the monopod with the quick pull down release latch. And at the top, you have a camera plate, AKA the lunar module. Release the docking clamp, then dock that camera plate with the tripod section. With a ball head, you can angle your camera in any direction, including a 90 degree angle. But Cire do advise you keep a hand on your camera at all times at that angle. At the bottom of the tripod section, you have a rubber foot, which has a concealed spike in it. To deploy the spike, you simply turn the rubber foot and it protrudes out. Screw the other way and it goes back in. This rubber foot slash spike can detach and then screw onto the stage two section of the monopod in case you don't want to use the tripod section for whatever reason. Maybe you want to save on weight. You can then extend that stage two section and use as an extension pole or just as a lighter monopod. You have a nice large padded foam grip with embossed Cire brand name along with a wrist strap for added security. At the top of the camera plate, you have a lock, which releases the screw, which has both a quarter inch and three eighth inch on opposite ends. So you can add not only your camera or lens to the top of this monopod, you can put your favorite tripod or gimbal heads as well. Okay, so that's just a quick look around the Cire P424FL up close. Let's head out and give it a test run. So why even bother using a monopod in the first place? Well, just like a tripod, it helps you keep the camera steady and it eliminates any sort of shake that you might get in your shots. But unlike a tripod, this monopod is so much faster to set up. Now, when it comes to bird and wildlife photography, time can sometimes be of the essence. I'm normally a run and gun type guy where I'll just have this on a strap and I'll be walking along and I'll see anything flying or whatever and I'll get a shot of it. But when you've got those times where you're sitting there and you're trained on a nest, like that time I was trained on a, a kingfisher's nest and I was trying to get the, the birds coming in and out really quickly, trying to hold your 
camera by itself, you just can't do it. Especially when you've got something like a D850 and a large telephoto lens. I dare say it's even worse with something like a Nikon Z9 with a 600 f4 lens on the end. You just can't hold it for that long. It's better to have this monopod in those situations. You can just set the monopod up, set yourself in position, have your frame all ready to go, and then fire off. It really does save your arms and your shoulders, and you're not hurting like heck the next day. I've just got a little kingfisher sitting over here. This is the beautiful thing about this monopod being tall. I'm 187 centimeters tall. I can just bring it up to my eye height. This guy is just chirping away. Now the other thing about this monopod, anyone knows with a D850, you've got to look at the back screen when you're doing video. I'm just shooting some video for you now, but look at how much more steadier this is when I'm using a monopod. In fact, what I'll do if this little guy just sits there, I'll show you a difference between handheld and the monopod footage. So this is the monopod stuff you're seeing right now. Now let me show you what it's like handheld. See what I mean? When you're trying to hand hold this with the D850, it's just killing my arms, it's killing my neck, my trap muscles. And as you can see, look at that chalk and cheese, it's just all over the shop. Now I dare say it's probably out of focus as well. Couple of little fantails here. This guy's just having a bit of feed amongst the wetlands. This monopod, it's just so good. Since I've been out in the field, one thing that I've picked up, when you get this base plate or the lunar module and you dock it here, you get that nice solid clunk. I'd be very confident in putting something like a 600 F4 lens on this and just know it's not gonna be going anywhere. This is the beautiful thing about using that table tripod feature of the monopod. You can get down to the bird's eye level. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm shooting this absolutely stunning pelican out here, but I can just lay here and I can get my video, get my shots, and I don't have to worry about, you know, holding my camera steady or anything like that. And as you can see, it works absolutely beautifully with the D850 and the 80 to 400 millimeter lens. So when you're using this tripod with the ball head on top of it, you can angle your monopod without having to worry about the tripod moving. Using the Cire P424FL as an extension pole for lightweight cameras like your Insta360s, GoPros and Osmo Actions, you can give the illusion you're flying a drone following someone. flying through trees. You can even put your smaller gimbals on top of this monopod to really pimp up your videography.
So if you're on those long bird or wildlife stakeouts, at an air show, covering any form of sport, or even at a concert and you need to shoot over top of people's heads, this tall, lightweight Sire P424FL monopod is ideal. And I'm sure I've just scratched the surface in terms of what this Zero monopod can do. Well guys, what I've done is I've left you some information on this monopod in the description box and the comments below. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time. Oh, I thought of another one, pole vaulting. <laughs>